Hello everyone, it is Yazu again and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In this one, I will be talking about uh, a little, a little small mistake that I actually made yesterday and it is concerning the uh, new tournament that is out. So for the new tournament, uh, it is a champion training tournament. Uh, if you win the group, you can get Toragi the Frog. Where is it? Uh, let me check the news. Toragi the Frog, or you can get new legendary champion that is Tatsu. So if you are like higher level, so if you are level 50, uh, 51 plus, you can get Tatsu. So first of all, let's go ahead. Uh, let's take a quick look at the Tatsu. So it is uh, a Shadow King champion. She is attack. Uh, attack and attacking champion and let's see her abilities transparent slash attacks one enemy two times each hit transfers a random debuff from this champion to the target fills the champion's meter by five percent for each transfer debuff nothing impressive wrath explosion attacks all enemies has a hundred percent chance when booked of placing decreased resistant debuff on all enemies for two turns and a sleep debuff on all enemies for one turn Fills the champion turn meter by 10% for each debuff placed. Okay, so the part for the sleep debuff is pretty good, but uh, this one, no, I, in my opinion, this is like <laughs> the worst debuff in the game that you can throw. Purgatory Blade, A3, attacks one enemy two times before attacking, removes all debuffs from this champion and steals all buffs from the target enemy. Uh, places a 50% increase attack and 50% and 30% increase crit damage buff on this champion for two turns. If this attack kills an enemy, these buffs cannot be removed. Uh, would prefer a lot if this was before she attacks so that uh, she can have higher chance to kill the enemy, but yeah. Uh, her passive heightened senses immune to sleep debuffs increase the champion's accuracy by 10 and crit damage by 3 for each buff on the enemy team so to be honest this champion is nothing impressive but still she looked cool and i did once uh, get the legendary champion from event like these uh, i got Ultan of the shell uh, where i won the uh, tournament group and um, yeah i've been keeping a lot of resources uh, or maybe this specific reason but other than that I, I didn't have a lot of uh, champions that I wanted to get level 60 so I kept a lot of things uh, but uh, I have been giving you advice on how to win the uh, tournaments so you either uh, start early and build up a huge lead where you can uh, then discourage other players uh, so they don't play or go as hard as you or you wait till the uh, last uh, last minute like stay close second or third and wait till the last one hour for example and pop pump up everything you have into it but there is a thing that i uh, did not did not consider at that moment and that is who your opponents are so uh when i first started this tournament yesterday i was at uh i got like 12k or yeah well, 14k points actually super easy, super easy. Nobody was even close. This guy was like at the 6k, but nobody else was close. But I didn't check who was in my uh, group. So in this group, I didn't see that there was a mad member. <laughs> so this mad member instantly went in like less than an hour. He went uh, above 20k points immediately. So yeah, I mean, I lost a lot of resources, I leveled up a lot of champions that I usually wouldn't level up, ranked up a lot of champions, like got uh, 5 champions to rank 6, used all of my books and thought that I have an early lead, but no, my, my guy actually went above and beyond and is sitting comfortably at 44k points, so he'll definitely uh, win Tatsu, I am out of resources, I cannot even compete. But yeah, I mean, next time, uh, probably go ahead and look uh, who is in your group. And yeah, if there's like Gods and Legends or uh, Sacred Panda or Mad a member, uh, definitely skip. <laughs> definitely skip going for that champion training. So that was uh, when it comes to my mistake. Another thing is, I mean, for that mistake, I used like all of my resources except for the shards and got some champions to level 60 that I maybe would not, would not usually get. Uh, where, where are they? I mean, Countess Lix uh, currently can't use, use her anywhere. I mean, the great champion, but can't use her anywhere. Nogdar as well. Uh, we'll try to fit them in, actually, but yeah. 
Uh, other than that, I got three more champions. Yeah, Razelwarg, uh, Astrolith, and Lugan the Steadfast. All of them got uh, to level um, to a six star. But uh, there, there was still a hope uh, during my work <laughs> this day. I was like, uh, during my yeah lunch break, I was a little bit uh, bored. So I went ahead and opened for the Summon Rush, even though I already finished my uh, Great Hoof Loriaka. And I actually managed to like open 140, 130 uh, shards, as you can see in here, I'm out of gems as well. Uh, and finally got an amazing champion, and that is Staltus. I immediately got him to uh, 6 star. I have, don't have books for him yet. These are all the books that I had right, uh, right at that moment and managed to get some of the uh, savage pieces on him as well as crit damage set so uh, stay tuned for that uh, i'll be showcasing him pretty soon but yeah i mean uh, more more of the story or main point of this video is uh, either go early but take a look at who is in your groups as i've said if there's someone from the top clans they are they are massive spenders if there's someone from those clans definitely avoid them and uh yeah either that or like be close second close third place so that you can pump up those numbers uh at the last one hour uh for the tournament at least so thank you guys for watching uh hope to see you in the next one make sure to like the video subscribe for more and i will see you